Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install Anaconda on your computer so that you can participate in the Coding Bootcamp Python course. I'm going to demonstrate this using Google Chrome as my browser. So I open my browser and then I type in for my Google search Anaconda download. I see a link for individual edition Anaconda and I click on it. I click on get started. I click on install Anaconda individual edition. This is going to get me to the proper link. Next I just scroll down to download and I select the version which is appropriate for my platform. Now most of you are running Windows and it is a 64-bit version so you need to download the 64-bit graphical installer for Windows. If you're running other platforms such as Mac OS or Linux then you can select the proper installers for your platform. So I click on download and the download starts and it's going to take a little while. I'll get back to you when the download is done. So it's taken a few minutes, but the download is nearly complete. The next step is going to be running the installer. So what you want to do is either click on the downloaded file and make it run, depending on your browser, uh, this can be done differently, or you want to open your downloads folder where the installer is located and run it. So let's just try getting it from the downloads folder. Normally you would open a navigator and navigate to your downloads folder, which should be located in your favorites. And there you go. You should find the installer. I'm going to place it on my desktop and run it. So you see the Anaconda 3 uh, setup welcome screen. Click next to continue. You must agree with the terms uh, in order to uh, install the software. And I encourage you to install this software for all users of your computer if you have admin privileges. If you do not have admin privileges, then just install it for yourself. You should select just the default destination folder and click next. And keep the default options. Click install. Now the installation process should take a few minutes. I'll get back to you when it is done. The installation is complete now. And you should click next. You get a nice information screen that advertises other products. Click next. And you have the uh, option of seeing more information which you do not currently need. So I suggest you uncheck these two boxes and click finish. Okay, so we've installed Anaconda. Now we're going to start Anaconda for the first time. But before we do that, we're just going to take the installer and put it in the trash can empty our recycle bin, get more space on our computer. Okay, to start Anaconda the first time, it's going to take a few minutes again. So we're going to click on the start menu, all programs, we are going to expand Anaconda 3, and it, we're not going to open the entire Anaconda navigator, we don't need that. We're going to just open Spider for now which is the editor where we write code uh, for Python. So click on that option and it's going to take a few minutes before it actually opens. It could take a few minutes. All right, so apparently it was fast this time 
That's probably because I installed it earlier today in order to uh, make sure everything works well. Uh, in your case, it might take a little while. Now, if you get a few screens asking you to uh, confirm a few things, uh, just click OK. Uh, all of the default settings are correct. We don't need to pay attention to these. To make sure that everything works well, one of the things that programmers do is write a Hello World program. A Hello World program is a, a, a small uh, one instruction program that simply outputs uh, a value to the screen, to the console. So we're going to write a program here, which uh, is going to be an instruction to output a value to the console. And we're going to read in the console output this value. So this Hello World program is print and open parenthesis open the uh, double quotation mark hello world exclamation point that's it we're going to click on the arrow to run the file here or press f5 and now if you get asked for confirmation of anything just click ok once that's done the output you should obtain is here you should see in one run file, the name of the run file, and you should see your string, hello world. You can change this string and see that the output is going to be different. I change it to hello, I run it again, and now in two, I get to see hello. Great. So you've confirmed that your installation of Anaconda and Python is correct. If you follow the steps today, then you should be running Python 3.8, which is the most recent version. So congratulations, you're ready to get started with the course. See you next time.